time to grow the pumpkins. <laughs> Hello everyone! Well, it's a rainy day here at Haunt on the Hill and I'm keeping nice and dry under our new roof. We've been in summer mode here. Our project list is definitely getting smaller. We've just got a few more projects left and we'll have everything crossed off. So we've been in more of a relaxed mood around here which is kind of nice. I just finished my big shed project which was a month-long project. I've pretty much been hanging out in there since the last time I talked to you. So I'll be showing you what I've been up to there. And I had good friend and haunter Melissa Broberg over for our own little make and take. So I'll show you a bit of that as well. So just a short, sweet video this time. I hope you enjoy. I hope I inspire and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I wanna show you my completed shed project here. I ended up painting the outside of the doors using my airbrush. I went with the castle door look, thinking it was a little more everyday friendly. And I also painted this little cement piece out here using my airbrush. I show a little bit as to how I did that. And the inside of my doors, I have Alan Hops from Stilpy Studios to thank. After watching his set painting two and three videos, I was able to put the two together and add a little of my own and keeping with the Hansel and Gretel theme, I think you can tell I had fun doing it. Did a little hand painting in the window here. Got the crow eating the breadcrumbs. I've pretty much got the same scene on the other door. A little bit different. But yeah, much better than the plain brown uh, boring doors. So anyway, um, finished my brick floor last night and I do show a little as to how I did that as well super fun and everything has been sealed up with my favorite sealer the polyurethane Minwax satin uh, it held up really well when I painted the floor for my creepy doll room scene and it beads up when water's on it so so yeah I can't wait to fill the shed with my props and get this scene all together come October. All right, I thought I'd let you in on my little um, airbrushing stone project I've got going here. I pretty much outlined my stone with chalk. First I base coated the whole shed floor and the outside here is base coated with black exterior paint. Then I outlined it with chalk and now I'm just going around having a ball here with my airbrush I'm starting out with burnt umber then I'm gonna move on to nutmeg and then I'm probably gonna end it with the gray and then finish it off with black and a little bit of highlight okay so at this stage I've got my burnt umber, nutmeg, and then I went over my grout with black. And now I'm going to do my edges with gray. And I've cut out some really thin cardboard that I had and hoping to kind of use that as a stencil to get some nice sharp edges on the stones. And then I think just a little maybe highlighting with white. Um, but anyway, that, that's about it. It's been a fun afternoon. So hey, I just wanted to let you in on all the fun that I'm having in my shed, laying this brick with my airbrush. I was lucky enough to cut out this template myself. I traced out a brick and it turns out that it's the perfect width for three times across. And the brick pattern also matches up. So that couldn't happen again if I tried. Um, so yes, I've got my first color almost all down here and I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is and um, how little paint you use. So 
So this is my next big project. Pat's going to make the big oven for the Hansel and Gretel scene and I'm going to carve out this oven door. I've got the pattern all drawn out and ready to start. I've got it on a one inch piece of styrofoam. So um, yeah, I'm not much of a styrofoam carver but I'm going to give it my best. Okay everyone, I'm back with Haunter Melissa. We've had our lunch and we made her first batch of homemade paper clay. We've got a plan with the wig head and uh, she's gonna sculpt, we've got eyes. So this is the way we're gonna spend the rest of our afternoon. What do you got to say, Melissa? There's all your Haunter <laughs> friends out there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we were enjoying the afternoon and um, we'll be back when we're all finished and we'll show you our results, okay? Sound good? All right. Okay, we just finished with our sculpting. And she's a little twisted looking. I added some antique gel to her eyes and she needs to dry and then she'll paint her up. I'm gonna send Melissa home with a whole mess of paper clay to try something out herself. So what do you think? I think it turned out awesome. Yeah. So this concludes our make and take. Um, glad we were able to take you along for a little bit of it. So we'll talk to you soon.